I'm extremely happy to announce that Happy Forms, which is one of my favorite form builders for WordPress, is officially integrating with Thrive Automator. Now, let me show you the power behind Happy Forms and some of the magic that it can do alongside Thrive Automator. Just a quick friendly reminder before we get started, if you could hit the like and subscribe buttons for me, I would really appreciate it. Now, I've been personally using Happy Forms for a couple of years now, and I love it because it really is more than your traditional form builder. There are a lot of unique things that it brings to the table, and it plays really well with Thrive Architect, which is something that I obviously really value. But rather than talking to you about it, let me show you how good it is. All right, so we're going to be operating under the assumption that we own a business called Stark Industries, and we are currently looking to raise some money from potential investors. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using Happy Forms to create a form that we can put on our website that walks potential investors through the submission process of investing in Stark Industries. Let's do it. Alrighty, so I have Happy Forms installed on my WordPress website. I've got a couple of forms here already created, but let's just go ahead and create a new one from scratch. Let's call this one Stark Industries. All right, so let's quickly brainstorm a few of the things that we may be interested in asking people. Uh, we may probably want an email address. We will most definitely want a first and last name. Um, we can uh, make use of Happy Forms to present them with a list of uh, projects that operate under the Stark Industries umbrella and ask them which projects in particular they're looking to invest in. We can probably ask them how much money they're looking to invest in as well. Um, and we, something that I like doing and something that I really like about Happy Forms is that we can actually charge people money before um, hitting the submit button. And so if people don't pay uh, whatever amount, you know, we're asking them to pay, they, you know, they can't actually submit the contact form, which is pretty powerful. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and put this into perspective here. So we have a new form, Stark Industries, and let's add a new field here. So we agreed on the fact that we are definitely going to want an email address. So here we can label this as email. And this is a field that we are definitely going to want to show. And here as a placeholder, let's just type out your best email address. Awesome. So this is going to be... Um, Field number one, something that I really like about Happy Forms is that you can actually customize how wide do you want each field to, to go to. Let's just say that we want the email address field only to be one third wide of our screen. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Uh, we are going to definitely want to do a first and last name. So we probably want text, first name, placeholder, your first name. All right, let's do one more for our last name. Your last name. And let's go ahead and ask people for a phone number as well. Let's do your phone, or let's actually do phone number. Phone number. And one well, something that I really like about Happy Forms too is that you can even do um, international phone numbers, which is pretty cool we can definitely bring this down to a third. We probably want to bring down to a third the last name as well. And let's see how these things start to pile up. Third. Okay, so we've got email, first name, and last name in row number one. Then we have phone number in row number two. And we can probably start asking people uh, through, let's do a series of checkboxes here, which projects are you interested in investing in? And let's add a choice. Let's do a 2025 Iron Man suit, a 2030 Vibranium shield. Let's do a 2035 Batmobile. And we can probably do a 2040 AR Thrive Architect. Boom. So now investors can invest which projects they're interested in putting some money into. So they've got an Iron Man suit, a Vibranium shield, new Batmobile, and a new version of augmented reality Thrive Architect. It's pretty cool for Stark Industries. And we could technically here um, make these align horizontally. Ah, it's actually pretty neat. Okay, let's, let's do that. And I'm thinking that we may want to use a slider to ask people how much money are you interested in investing? 
And here, uh, Happy Forms allows us to use a slider, so we could probably do a minimum amount of 100 million. Let's do in millions of dollars. So the minimum amount is 100 million and the maximum amount is going to be 1000. And let's just set 500 to be the default value. Awesome, nice. And do we want this to be full width? Yeah, half is pretty nice. All right, so I've navigated over into the integration section for Happy Forms. As you can see, Happy Forms has some really cool native integrations with Active Campaign, Constant Contact, ConvertKit, PayPal. I've personally integrated it with my own personal Stripe account, which means that that I can actually charge people before um, hitting that submit button. Um, which means that if I want people to pay let's say a deposit of $100 to get placed into a list of potential investors for Stark Industries, they can only do so if they do indeed pay those $100. So let's actually set that up here. Let's add a new field and let's do a payment field and let's do get placed in our waiting list. And the price is going to be $1,000. And I want you to check this out because this is something that I'm absolutely in love with. Happy Forms comes with logic enabled, which means that if we use logic for this payment field, we can uh, tell Happy Forms that this field is only going to show, for example, if people um, only select that they're interested in um, investing in, let's say, the Vibranium Shield. And so anyone that doesn't actually I'll pick out the vibranium field is not going to see the option of paying. But if I do enable that field, boom, I can hide and show that field, which is pretty cool. And you can add as many logic groups as you want, which is pretty freaking awesome. Now, I'm not actually interested in doing that for this particular scenario. I want to make sure that regardless of which project they're interested in investing in, that they do indeed pay $1,000 to get signed up into our waiting list. And let's just, for the sake of keeping this super professional, um, ask people to sign this form. So let's do sign to accept our terms and conditions. And let's make this full width. That's pretty nice. Awesome. Okay, I'm liking this. And we can even sign this if we wanted to here in our preview. Let's try our best. Tony. Awesome. Done. Now, the next step is to tell Happy Forms what happens once we're actually ready to hit the submit. So we can force people to get redirected to a custom URL, which kind of makes sense, right? I mean, the logic behavior for, you know, when someone submits a contact form is that we redirect them to a thank you page so that we can keep track of our goals, how many people are actually completing the, the form and all of that nice uh, stuff. So let's just go ahead and do starkindustries.com forward slash thank you. We wanna make sure that we only allow one maximum number of submissions per person. And I actually don't want to save a draft for any particular user. So we're gonna leave that empty. And something that I personally do like uh, doing is making sure that I receive a copy of um, each submission delivered to my email. That way I can keep track of who is submitting my form, what their responses have been like. So that's something that I do wanna definitely activate. For the email display name, we're gonna do Stark Industries website. And the subject is going to be new potential investor. And there's a few things that I like doing when it comes to styling my forms. I like coming inside the general settings here and just giving uh, some padding all around the form and inside our field borders and spacing. I really like giving this some really wide spacing so that the form just has a lot of breathing room in between sections. All right, let's hit save and see what this looks like on the front end of our website. So to embed a Happy Forms form on a Thrive Architect Power uh, page, it's as simple as simply coming into the list of all of our forms and let's copy the form ID to our clipboard. All right, let's create a new page and let's just pick out a pre-built landing page here. Let's do one with Quick, for example. All right, so we have our landing page opened up here with the Thrive Architect editor, and now it's just a question of finding a good place for it. So let's do a new background section here. Perfect, let's center things here, vertically speaking, content box. 
and let's just do the short code. Center this, let's hit save and let's see what that looks like. And voila, here it is. So it looks pretty nice. I mean, you, we could spend a little bit more time maybe tweaking the colors. This is a pretty straightforward form, um, you know, prompting people to enter their email address, first name, last name, phone number. We can multi-select if we wanted to, which projects are we interested in investing in. And we have our slider here to let people know how much money and millions of dollars we are interested in investing. Now, the cool thing about Happy Forms is that it's able to pull up data that people have saved um, in, their browse, in their browsers. So if I were to click on this credit card field, for example, it will show a list of credit cards that I have saved in Safari, in my case. And here, even the drawing is super smooth. I really like this. Um, you obviously need to be signing with either your mouse or your trackpad. It's not gonna be super 100% accurate, but it works really nice and it's super smooth, which is something that I absolutely love. Now, we're not quite done yet. Uh, let's see what we can do with Happy Forms and Thrive Automator. So since we have Happy Forms installed on our WordPress website, Thrive Automator is automatically capable of detecting it and it has it show up here under trigger categories. So let's pick Happy Forms as our main trigger and let's see what we can do with it. All right, so when a Happy Forms form has been submitted, this is going to be our main trigger. And in this case, it's going to be the Stark Industries form. Uh, let's see what we can do here. We can um, send someone to our email marketing service and tag them inside, let's say, Active Campaign. This is pretty neat because that way you can start curating, curating a list of people that are potentially interested in investing in your own um, company, which is nice. And since I have Thrive Apprentice also installed, I could technically speaking grant them access to a Thrive Apprentice product and unlock a special um, area on my website for potential investors. Now there's somewhat of a hidden field that a lot of people typically ignore, which is that uh, Thrive Automator offers us the option of only triggering an automation if the following condition has been met. This is pretty cool because let's say for example that we're only interested in putting people that are interested in investing in our 2025 Batmobile project in a specific list inside Active Campaign or Drip. We could technically tell Thrive Automator, hey, only trigger this automation if the project that pe that, that person is interested in investing in um, equals, I think the name was 2025 Batmobile Project. I think that was the name. All right, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you liked it and found it useful. In the description down below, as usual, you'll find a link to learn more about Thrive Suite and the conversion focused tools that we built here at Thrive Themes. I'm Tony Lewis, it's been a real pleasure. And if you've got any questions, I'll be down in the comment section below. Bye.